as, as I'm speaking to you, yeah, yeah. I can smell cannabis in this vehicle. Cannabis? It smells no, like cannabis. cannabis. Okay. Also, I don't. have you not? No, no. I, I, no, I don't. I don't, honestly. Okay. I don't smoke cannabis. Also, there's also intelligence to believe that this vehicle's involved in drug supply. Okay then, so in this video, what we're gonna see is, well, as you see now, it said it can smell cannabis and the vehicle as intelligence or drug supply. The intelligence on drug supply are present and for. Intelligence is important to gain a reason to stop a vehicle like this. The, the fact that it says it can smell cannabis is what I found quite funny. And you'll understand why in this video. I'm not here to bash on the... I'm not going to bash on the police on this one. That's the only bit I am going to criticise is that little word in he said there. As he has stood there, you can smell cannabis coming from the vehicle, which is important when you watch the rest of the video, to me anyways, because, well, you'll understand. So I'm not here to bash on the police. They do a good job here. And we'll just get straight into this video. Morning. How are you? How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Cool. Um, just stopping to speak to you. Yeah. Um, have you got your driving licence on you at all, mate? I don't have a driving licence. I've just... I, I have one, sorry. <laughs> I have a driving licence. I've just... I lost it. Oh, you so, lost I, it? Yeah, okay. I did. I can give you... I've got a pass... Uh, no, I don't have a passport with me. I can Any ID, name. bank card, anything like that? Bank card. Is it your vehicle? Yes, it is. I just pulled over because I got sick and then I ate my dinner. And that was it. And then I fell asleep. Cool. As, as I'm speaking to you, yeah, yeah. I can smell cannabis in this vehicle. Cannabis? It smells no, like cannabis. cannabis. Okay. Also, I don't. have you not? No, no. I, I, no, I don't. I don't, honestly. Okay. I don't smoke cannabis. Also, there's also intelligence to believe that this vehicle is involved in drug supply. Okay, then. So... He is going to be searched under the Misuse of Drugs Act of 1971, Section 23. Section 23, this is just what they can do, and this is what's important on this. If a constable has reasonable grounds to suspect that any person is in possession of a controlled drug in contravention of this act or of any regulations, F1 or orders, made thereunder, the constable may a. search that person, and detain him for the purpose of searching him b. Search any vehicle or vessel in which the constable suspects that the drug may be found, and for that purpose require the person in control of the vehicle or vessel to stop it. c. Seize and detain, for the purposes of proceedings under this act, anything found in the course of the search which appears to the constable to be evidence of an offence under this act. And um, this little bit. And this subsection vessel includes a hovercraft within the meaning of the M1 Hovercraft Act 1968, and nothing in this subsection shall prejudice any power of search or any power to seize or detain property, which is exercisable by a constable apart from this subsection. So, if you want to read the rest, there you go. Pause it, read it, pause it, read it. So, if he has reasonable suspicion, well, reasonable grounds to suspect that if any person is in possession of a controlled drug, he can use this to search him. The thing I think is quite funny is the smell alone of cannabis cannot be used as suspicious to get it, especially if you are in a car, near a road, or anything like that, because somebody could be driving past or is smoking cannabis, and that alone could mean the coffer can say you can smell it in your vehicle. And yeah, but the fact that they've had intelligence to say that a vehicle is used in drug supply. That means there you go, they have uh, the reasonable grounds to suspect that th this person is in possession of a controlled drug. So they can use all of this to search his vehicle. So let's get straight back into the video. Okay. So at the moment you're going to be stopped and searched under Section 23 of the Misuse of Drugs Act. Really? Yeah. I'm PC from Fort okay, Police on. Station. Oh, this is crazy. Okay, listen to it. I'm PC with the police station. Wait, you are wait, detained wait. for the purposes of the search wait. under section 23 of the Misuse oh Drugs Act. Take a breath, take a breath. No. It's fine. It's, if not there's, fine. it's if not fine. If there's no drugs in the car, then it's fine, isn't it? So have a breath. Can, 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 hold on a second. Um, so I'm like I say... back to work tomorrow. That's right, but you, you're not under arrest. Unless there's drugs... for a year. Okay, again, that, that's fine. You're not under arrest. You're not getting arrested, all right? Not at the moment, like I say, unless suddenly I open the boot and there's like 10 kilos of cocaine or something in the boot. Do you know what I mean? So something really extreme, then the, my hands are tied. 
I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. There is something in the car. What's in the car, mate? Huh? There's a bag of stuff that I was taking to somebody's house. OK. What, when you say bag of stuff, what is it? I have no clue, because it was left at my house. OK, then, so... He knows there's something in the cars, he's just admitted. So, the worst thing you can do is continue to speak, especially when you know there's something in your car. This person is clearly guilty and is trying to pass it off to somebody else, but what he doesn't realise is he's just admitting to supply. And he has just said he is taking a bag of stuff to somebody's house, which is, is either transporting illegal drugs or you're supplying illegal drugs that those words alone could be deemed as supplying so if you're ever in a situation like this just remain silent silence is is the power in this because he has just admitted on camera that he is supplying that simple okay so and, and, and it's, it's, well, but when you say stuff is it illegal stuff or is it just it's stuff it's illegal stuff. Okay. And I don't, I don't, I didn't want it in the house. That's why okay, I got rid of okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. Just, I don't well, want any. Let's, let's, let's slow down, slow down. Okay. Right. I put it all in one bag. Yes, it's all in one bag. Yes. Okay. So obviously, because of what's been found, you are going to be getting arrested. Okay. So you're at the moment you're under arrest on suspicion of possession of a controlled drug with intent to supply. So you do not have to say anything. It may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which later on court and anything you do say may be given evidence. And obviously the reason for your arrest yeah. is to secure and preserve evidence by web searches. So again. For searches, so we allow yeah. us to do searches and to allow us to do a prompt investigation in defence. So interview you, ask you questions, Will do things like downloads and things like that. That's a long way down the line. How far down the line? How far down the line? You're going to get interviewed, aren't you? Well, once that is, once you've been interviewed, then they... Let's make it quick. So listen, listen, so listen, listen to me. Toby, Toby, relax. Oh and... Toby, relax and listen to me. So once you get interviewed, they basically make a decision whether they've got further inquiries, <laughs> and no further action or charge, OK? It's not going to be no further action or charge. I understand that. I just don't want to be in jail. Okay then, so the, the picture which I had to do that to because of YouTube purposes, I can't show that on YouTube, but if you go over to the original channel, it will be linked in the description, you can see it if you want. Here's a list of things what he had been done for. So, what was it? Uh, possession with intent to supply a class A, which was uh, crystal meth. Uh, possession with intent to supply a class A, cocaine. A class B, class B. Uh... He had cash on him and possession of a firearm. He's lucky to get two and a half years with just a possession of a firearm. It is as class as a firearm and possession of a firearm in the UK can lead you up to five years in prison. He got two and a half years after admitting the following. So he got half of sentence because he admitted to the, the following. Possession of a class A and with the intent to supply is a bit crazy. That's a, a longer prison sentence as well. So he's very lucky to get two and a half years. I do applaud the police. They, they took him off the streets. They took a dealer out, which was supplying uh, crystal meth, cocaine, all this other stuff, what he got caught with. So good on them. Going to praise you for that. This guy's a bit of a fool. He thinks he's going to get bail and that lot. What they were saying there is he's under arrest and now they're what they got now what they can do because they found this on him they can yeah go and search all properties which he is uh has links to to search him for any more evidence of drugs. And that's what they did and they found a taser in his house, as you read on the other one. There was roughly what eleven grand worth of drugs seized from him. So again, I do praise the police. The police do do a good job and this highlights what exactly what they do do when it comes down to it i know there's a lot of people who are shitting on the police and the police are real bad but this is another part of their job what they're dealing with so good on them but let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this interaction as always like the video it does open youtube's algorithm and i'll catch you on the next one